It has been a long season for the Mario Fireballs, but we are finally at the end. This is Shadow Mario 41, and it is time for Mario to face off against the final rival. It's a time to fight Bowser in his own castle. So you finally got here, Mario. I oh, can't do voice acting like this. You're so late, and I hate waiting. Well, I do too. It's not like I blocked the road with rocks or anything. Ah, well, you kind of did. What? I'm serious. What's with that dirty look? Anyway, let's just forget all that. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, so you have the mightiest team now? Yeah, we kind of do. Here we go. Start the game. <laughs> yes, yes, play for my amusement, Mario. About, he reminds me of, like, I don't know why, that just reminded me of Maximilian Pegasus. He's like, yes, play for my amusement. I'm the best. And then he gets beaten. And it's like, no, you couldn't possibly defeat me, though. All right, so now we need our all-star team on the mound. We need uh, some Waluigi action on the mound. We need some, uh, this is, this, I'm going to put together my, one of my ideal lineups here. It doesn't have the highest of team stars, but it's still pretty good. Uh, and the Yoshi. And, uh, we'll go second. I guess Mario. Why not? I'm a, I usually don't play with Birdo on my team, but Birdo has been so phenomenally good. I'm just gonna keep Birdo. Why not? Oh, no. Not Peach. Boo. And, uh... So this is a lineup that I actually really like. I really enjoy using this team. So, let's see how it does against Bowser's team. I will say, Bowser's team is quite good. Bowser, Bowser Jr., and three Hammer Brother variants are all power characters. So you have to be very careful when playing against them. And then the Dry Bones, they're good, actually. They're, they're not great, but they're actually pretty good. So let's give it a shot. This is the Mario Fireballs. Are we still the Mario Fireballs? We are, versus the Bowser Monsters. All right, King Boo is clearly my cleanup hitter. We'll have Mo uh, Yoshi lead off, actually. Put Mario second, Birdo third. Looks good to me, looks good, looks good. This looks like a solid lineup, like all the way through. Maybe until like eight, nine, but this looks phenomenal. Let's go, this is all of our efforts, and this is a five inning game, so you guys will be treated for a little extra long video today. All right, so this is Bowser's Castle Stadium. We haven't been here yet. It's fun. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorites, actually. If not my favorite. Because <laughs> there's honestly not as many course hazards as you might think. You might think it would be absolutely crazy, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Here we go. I love the music too, by the way. Lead off with a single to left field. Looks good to me. You just gotta watch out for all those fireballs in the outfield. The infield has no hazards in it, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, let's get off to a good start here. There we go. That'll at least avoid a double play, advance the runner. Sounds good. Ah, uh, here's Birdo. Here's Birdo. Let's see what Birdo can do. No, oh, I shouldn't have even bothered for that. Also, Bowser is a fant fantastic pitcher. Uh, I don't know about that. No, 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 no. Back, back, back. Alright, good try. Ah, uh, but here's my slugger. King Boo, I love using King Boo. Look at that. Every ball is, like, crushed. But it's really hard to keep it in play. Like, look at that. Look at that! High fly ball! And it has that little curve on it. It's great. So there we go. Mario Fireball. Score early with a run in the first inning. That was That's actually big. I don't like playing either down or tied. To get a run in the first inning is, is really, really nice. Gives you that little bit of a safety net, so to speak. Alright, good job. Good job. Now we have another slugger in Petey Piranha. There's another beast in this game. Although the sweet spot's a little difficult to find on Petey Piranha's leaf. But I don't think that's going to drop. It's two outs. So I might as well just keep running. All right. Well, that's it. We got to run. One run on two hits. Can't complain about that in the first inning. And now we have Waluigi on the mound with dark dry bones or red bones or whatever the hell it is. Let's see what they'll be able to do. Um, my guess is nothing. Besides, like, get out. Did you see that curve? That was quite a curve. Oh, I thought that just caught the inside. But I guess not. There we go. So confused. No clue of what to do. Alright, here's blue dry bones. There we go, there we go. Hard fastball. This is exciting. Even the music makes this really intense. Think, look, look at this. This is great. Oh, you see that? That was like a knuckleball the way that thing moved. Alright, now here we have the Hammer Brother variants. This is where it gets really dangerous. 
This is fire, bro. I'm also glad that they brought all these back from, like, Super Mario Bros. 3. This is the first time, I think, this is actually the first time in Mario spin-offs that these characters have even come into play, besides the Hammer Brother, obviously. But, like, Fire Brother and Boomerang Brother, like, they re revived those from the grave in this game, I'm pretty sure. So that's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Second inning. We have a long game out of us. Alright, I think I gotta use some power here. Come on, come on! Hit a, hit a fireball or something. Ah, you bastard. Alright, here comes Boo. Boo, again, like King Boo, has that curve mechanic on his ball. Whenever he hits it, oh, well, if he hits it in the outfield, not if he just grounds out to short. That's just lame. What the hell? Here's Waluigi. I have no hope for Waluigi. So maybe that'll help me get a hit. It will. Perfect. Also, if you hit those, if you couldn't tell, if you hit those star panels, you get a team star. I thought that was pretty self-explanatory, but you guys might not know. Might as well hit and run. Oh, God. <laughs> well, we have to do the first part of that, which is hit and not swing, like, way, way early. That was just pathetic. There's two outs. I mean, there's no reason to not hit and run. Oh, wow. Right down the line. Did you see that? You couldn't get more down the line. Oh, wow. Wa Waluigi, run. 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 Safe. He's safe. Two to nothing. Whew. Wow. That, that angle said it all. That was right down the line. Rolled into the corner. How frustrating. Let's see this play. This was a close play at home plate. Wow. That was awesome. All right. Now we get Yoshi. If I score a run every every inning, I can't complain about that. Back to the top of the order. Oh, I'm gonna lose a lot of power on that. Right, let's not strike out. Yes, yes, Yoshi. What a hit to left. Oh, Yoshi better beat that out to second though. Oh, this is phenomenal. What a way to come through for the Mario Fireballs. All of our training efforts have led to this moment. This is great. This is great. Yoshi gets a little dance. Well-deserved dance out there. You know, I didn't put Luigi on my team. I kind of realized that. Oh, well. <laughs> nice. Team star that I don't... Oh, my God. A stun. That allows Yoshi to score. I was going to hold Yoshi up at third, but since, uh, I think, Dry Bones bobbled the ball, or... What happened? Like, got hit in the face by it or something. I don't know what happened there. But I was going to hold Yoshi, but Yoshi instead gets to score because of that little error. Oh, this is quickly falling apart for Bowser's team. This two-out rally is, uh, oh, jeez. Actually, I probably could have stolen for a second on that. That was actually really close. Ah, not quite. I think that's going to be caught, unless that, that fireball had to hit Hammer Bro, but did not, unfortunately. All right, keeping pace. Now, this is, uh, this is where things get dangerous. So we have to be very careful when pitching to the Bowser monsters here. Because things like this can happen! Oh my god, thank god for those thwomps. Did you see that? Oh, oh, ha, 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 ha. Those thwomps on the outfield can block home runs, as you just saw. And that's pretty much... Oh my god. Oh, what is happening? No, boo, don't bobble the ball! What is happening? Errors. Errors are happening. That's what's happening. Those thwomps can block home runs. And they limited Bowser's home run to just a single. Oh dear. This is this is where things get dicey. When we get in these types of situations. There we go. Perfect. Oof. Hammer bro. We're not out of the woods yet. One more power character to go through. Second and third with one out. Let's see if the Bowser monsters can capitalize. I hope they can't. I'm gonna do all I, all in my power to make sure that they cannot. Change up. Yes. 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 Swing and a miss. This is great. This is great. Okay. Second and third. Two outs for Dry Bones. A hit. But a pathetic line drive to second base. And an out. After two back-to-back -back hits to lead off the inning. After second and third and no outs, Waluigi gets out of a jam. Ah, that was great. That was great. Oh, there we go. That's why I love King Boo, but unfortunately... Hooked it just a little too much. Ugh, damn it, damn it, damn it. That's why I love King Boo. There we go. That's the power, but I think that's going to be caught on the track. Or next to the wall or whatever. There's really no warning track, I guess. In, this game. in most stadiums. Oh, that's Petey Piranha's power, too. Unfortunately, another fly ball to left. But that was the power. That's the power. If you hit perfect accuracy, those are gone. Those are gone. 
assuming that thwomps don't come in the way. Oh, the thwomps benefited me big time back then. It would have been, well, who knows what would have happened. It would have been one to four to one, and then they could have just kept going. Who knows? Oh, that was perfect steal. Actually, I, could, I think I could get that. Yes, I'll take the base. Why not? Oh, jeez. You see, if you actually, like, steal at just the right time, you get that sort of, I don't know, highlight around the steal thing, which means you got an extra nice jump on the ball. Perfect. Hit and run. That's what happens. That's baseball right there. Hit and run is always such a risky move. That's why you never see it in actual MLB. But in Mario Baseball, where you can kind of control it, it's not too bad. Uh, let's run back. Luckily, on the easiest difficulty, I think on all difficulties, the computer players won't try to get you into a rundown. They'll just run you back to the base, if you've noticed. Perfect. That's another hit and run. Perfectly executed. Oh, wow, that's getting all the way to the wall. Boo's going to come around from first to score, and that'll make it six to nothing. Mario fireballs over the Bowser monsters. This is great. This is just slaughter at this point. Let's try to... Uh, we can't really steal. Uh, there's no really a real point. I should just lay off those pitches. Those pitches are all horrible. Ah, damn it. Bowser scored a strikeout. Oh well. Next up, we have three dry bones. Alright, so we should be okay this inning if none of them get on base. <sighs> then we have more power characters next time. There we go. There we go. A little knuckleball action. Although, really, putting that back and forth curve kind of cancels out the whole curve action. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Here comes this Dry Bones variant. Dive! Ah, just out of Mario's reach. That's alright, that's alright. A base hit. I can deal. I can deal with that. I think, too, I'm not positive on this either, but for fighting, or not fighting, we're not really fighting, for facing off against Bowser's team, uh, I'm pretty sure these characters would be technically on flower difficulty, so they're like the next step up from what difficulty you're currently playing on. Another one just out of Mario's reach, but... That'll be an out at second because Dark Bones or Red Bones had to hold up at first there. So that works out for me. Feel this choice. Score that one. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they're stepped up a difficulty level. Oh, Yoshi. Holy crap, with the best reflexes I've seen in a while. <coughs> and even leaving tire tracks behind. Wow, that was great. Skid marks. That was great. What a catch. That's why Yoshi's my shortstop. And that's why Yoshi's my leadoff hitter, unfortunately, it wasn't out, but impressive power nonetheless. Alright, let's get on base. Alright, let's uh, swing and miss completely. Oh my god, two outside pitches in a row. I hate to crowd the outside plate. Oh no, he came back in! Did you see that? I don't know if that was computer AI or just pure luck, but that was great pitching strategy, actually. Two outside pitch and then drive in the curveball. I cannot hit now. What is happening? There we go. Let's take, leave it to Birdo to break a bad slump. Birdo gets on first with a base hit. Now we have King Boo. My ultimate slugger. Just look at that. Everyone is like crushed like that. Unfortunately, I have to wait longer than usual. There we go. That's the power. That's the power I'm talking about. A two run homer <coughs> for King Boo to further bury the Bowser monsters at their home field. That is the power I'm talking about that King Boo has that I absolutely love. <laughs> Makes it eight to nothing. Where's the mercy rule? Oh, Bowser's tired. See, that's where stamina comes in. Bowser's given up so many runs, gave up seven runs, so he's going to center field. And they need to call in a reliever. Try bones on the mound. <laughs> I don't know why he went to center, but I don't really care. Actually, I could have. If I was ready for that, that could have been out of here. But I was not. Alright, so this should get significantly easier. But it doesn't matter. That's probably going to be an out. And caught by the right fielder. But the damage done as the Mario Fireballs tack on two more to make it eight to nothing against the Bowser Monsters. I wonder if Mercy Rule is in effect in this game. If so, we'd probably hit it after this at bat. If, assuming they don't score. But again, they do have their meat of the order up, so we've got to be very careful here. Let's have some fun. Why not? It's a star chance. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I haven't seen that one yet. Or at least not in a while. Strike one, and here's strike two. Yes. 
And now let's finish off Bowser Jr. We've played him enough times. Oh crap, got a hit. No, it's gonna fall. Wasn't really much I could do about that. I would appreciate if someone would get the ball. Luckily, he held up at first. I bet he didn't count on my characters just circling the ball rather than uh, doing anything. There we go. Perfect. Yes, yes, excellent. And I'll finish him off. Oh crap, he hit that one too. Daisy! Oh, not quite. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The shutout might be gone. No, no, Bowser Jr. has to hold the third. So it's first and third with two outs. <laughs> Waluigi might be getting a little tired, but he should still be okay. There we go. And let's, uh... Yeah, let's do an inside pitch. There we go. Great. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's see. No one's there! No one's covering second! What the hell? Why'd I throw it? I should've just ran it. Oh well, that, that ends the shutout. It's 8-1. to one. Mario fireballs over the Bowser Monsters, but still. Still, I can't really complain about that. That's quite a quite a margin to lead by. Well, let's not ruin it. Let's not fall apart. I feel like that's what teams do sometimes. Even if they're ahead by a huge margin, they'll like take their foot off the gas pedal. They'll be like, oh, we can put on our backup players. We can put in whoever. And then the other team will just catch up. That happens so often in sports. There we go. Daisy, come on, drop, 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 drop. Yes, perfect. That should be a double. Oof, a close double, but a double nonetheless. All right, here's Boo. Another excellent hitter. Oh yeah, look at that. They have no mobility in center field anymore. Not that they really had much mobility anyway, but they do have better arm, but none of that matters. It's nine to one. It is not looking good for the Bowser Monsters. Ah, oh, jeez, that should advance the runner anyway. So not a total waste of an out, but still would have preferred a hit. Uh, let's see, let's do uh, some fun National League Baseball. Squeeze bunt. Oh, and Diddy beats it out. Wow, that was effective. Score that as an RBI. I need Diddy to steal a base is one of his things. Let's see if I can steal. Ugh, not quite. Not quite. That's a star mission for Diddy. Caught stealing. Holy crap, what was that? Diddy Kong caught stealing. Wow. Look at that scoreboard. That is just domination right there. But we're not out of the woods yet. We can't rest easy until the game is over. That's my motto. So we just gotta keep firing fastballs and tricking them with change-ups and doing all our fancy pitching moves until the game ends. Err, not quite. I didn't need Daisy to dive. That was close, that was close, but no cigar. Alright, here comes a fastball on the inside part of the plate. Oh, double play, double play. Second for one, on to first, double play! And now it's all up to Firebro to score nine runs by himself. Let's see if he can do it. I'm gonna guess oh, he might be able to score one though uh, that's gonna be high off the wall and after the bounce he's, he's just gonna stay at first he could have made it second because of my terrible fielding but no he was pretty content at first I suppose now we have Bowser is Bowser gonna be the last out this is gonna be it actually you know what we have to end this in a very uh, fitting way I believe let's put Mario on the ground and if you notice, we have one team star left. Two strikes, two outs, bottom of the fifth. Let's put an end to this game. Yes! Strikeout! That's the game! That was great. And that's it. The Mario Fireballs. All the way from the Mario Sunshines at the beginning, now the Mario Fireballs crush the competition. Destroy the Bowser Monsters. And that's all she wrote. That ends the Mario Fireball's yeah. epic quest, Waluigi. with Waluigi getting MVP for doing a fantastic pitching performance. Look at this offense. I bet it's 481 on the day, but if you counted my slugging percentage, it would be ridiculous right now. Look at this. Diddy Kong with two RBIs, Boo with two RBIs, King Boo with three RBIs. This was just great all around. And pitching, by the way. Waluigi, I can't really complain about a 1.93 ERA. 
<laughs> I mean, oddly enough, it's one of the highest ERAs we've seen so far. But hey, a 1.8 ERA on the day for your pitchers, I mean, come on, that's that's great, that's phenomenal. And not so much for the Bowser Monsters. They batted 364 on the day, though, look at that. That's really good, but that ERA, there's no help in that. Let's go. Congratulations, my team is number seven, okay. Or number one, it must have been number one. It looked like a seven, just very quickly. That came up really fast, but here's everyone celebrating. My final lineup against the Bowser Monsters. And there's my trophy. A little a little smaller than I thought it would be. But oh well. And there we go. Those are all the players we recruited. Congratulations. For me. Cleared on Mario's challenge mode on Mushroom difficulty. So challenge the next level. I will do just that. Let's see what we got for some star missions. We got smack a hit. That's pretty nice. And we got smack a hit. Also very nice. There we go. And now I can select Bowser's Castle and the Star Dash minigame. We haven't even touched the Star Dash minigame. And I can select the Flower level. And I can use Monty Mole. An actual, like, versus mode now. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Save that game. Excellent. Now loading. Yes. So we're done with the Mario Fireballs. The Mario Fireballs have ended their quest to become the champions of the first season of Mario Superstar Baseball. But now it's time for the second season. And a new team captain will rise to victory in the second season of Mario Superstar Baseball. And it's up to you guys to choose who to vote for. Yes, yes, yes. On flower level, the next difficulty up. We have, we used Mario, so we're okay with Mario. It's up to you guys to vote for the next team captain between Princess Peach, Wario, Yoshi, and Donkey Kong. Make your decision in the comments of this video. I will total up the votes, and on the next update, which I guess will be Monday, you guys will see which team captain won and who I'll be using for the next challenge mode. So, it's all in your guys' hands. I'm totally out of the equation now. I will see you guys next time for more Mario Superstar Baseball when we start Flower Challenge Mode with whoever you guys decide to pick. I'm looking forward to it. See you guys then. Ciao.